Hey, it's Todd. Um, today we're going to talk about picks and about picking. Um, I had some questions about that because of my last kind of post about stock picking. People thought I was going to talk about guitar picks. And that's a really great question, a really great subject. So we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, the picks I use are from a company called Clayton. This is the pick that I really like. It's a Clayton pick. Um, Clayton makes great picks. This is a one millimeter pick. Now, that's a really thick pick. Now, in Europe, they call it a plectrum, but basically it's the same thing. It's a guitar pick. Um, I, I like really thick picks because they don't have any flex. Well, what does that mean? Basically, flex is how much the pick will bend when you put pressure on it. Um, if it bends, you really don't have much control over it. Some people like a pick with a lot of flex. I mean, I'm not one of those guys, but some people do. And, you know, God bless them, more power to them. I just don't. I like a really strong, thick pick. Um, what I'm trying to do is reduce the amount of wag, essentially, in the pick. That's why I like really thick picks. A one millimeter pick is pretty thick. Um, the problem is, when you first get these picks, they're so thick, you can't play with them. So what I end up doing is essentially taking some sandpaper and sanding this pick down to where it has a fine point. You may notice that this pick is essentially pointed, right? That is not the way they come from the factory, okay? I have to sand these picks down to get this kind of point. The reason I do that is to reduce the surface area of the pick that's hitting the string. This is crucial. Um, you want as little pick actually hitting the string as possible. That way, you have as much um, flexibility as you possibly can going back and forth. Um, you're trying to increase the speed of the pick, right, and reduce the amount of time that the pick point actually hits the string. So if the pick has a lot of flex to it, there'll be some lag introduced, right? The pick will be flapping back and forth on the string. You don't want that. Well, at least I don't want that. If you want to play really, you know, kind of faster stuff, that's a bad thing. Um, so pick a really strong, thick pick, one millimeter or thicker, 1.5, that's fine, two millimeter, that's fine, and shave it down, basically get some sandpaper, and shape the pick into a point so that only a very small portion of the pick is hitting the string at any one time. So you go up, down, up, down, right, and just the point, just the little bitty point of this pick is hitting the string. That way, you can, you know, pull back, get forward, pull back, without having to wait on the pick to kind of respond and flex. Um, the way I hold the pick for fast picking is like this. Essentially, right, place your thumb right there on the edge of the pick, and you see how the point of the pick is literally, you know, going directly out, kind of at a right angle from my thumb, so you can see where the label is, right, if you place the pick like that and the eagle on the label is kind of aligned with your thumb and the point is kind of sticking straight out to the side, right, that's where I strike the string. Now sometimes I'll hold my hand like this, kind of flexed and open. Sometimes I'll hold it much looser. Um, you'll see some guys, their whole body tenses when they go to pick fast, like, like that. I don't really do that. I think um, that's kind of overkill. You can pick from the wrist or you can pick from the entire forearm depending on you know your technique. A lot of it is what feels best for you. You know, you'll have to kind of feel it out for yourself. Um, I'm going to give you a small demonstration right here of how I use the pick and pick fast. We're going to start slow and speed up. I'm just going to pick one string, one fret, and alternate pick up and down and speed up. You can add the frets in um, just to practice moving. Just start slow and work your way up. Um, you don't have to even move your left hand when you're first working on this. You're just trying to get your pick 
speed up and keep it even. So um, get a thick pick, get some sandpaper, shave it down to a nice fine point like that, right? And try and work with a metronome, you know, one, two, three, four, and then just speed up as you can. You know, just keep it even, keep it steady, and eventually you'll get it really fast. Um, as you get it faster, start picking fast with scales you know, right? Pick a couple of scales, uh, a couple of techniques, and start picking them, you know, in a, in a fairly fast way. Always start slow and work up. Don't just jump to fast, you know. It's just not going to work that way. It just really just takes practice. But um, for now, practice.